Okay, this is one of my favorite tools and by the end of this video, I am hoping and I will make sure that it becomes yours as well and I'll help you discover some really cool use cases of Miro and look like a pro. Okay, I'm going to go and sign up here and signing up, I'm going to use the Google option. So once I get in, I get asked some questions, so I'm just going to put some dummy answers here for now. So how Miro works is that there is going to be an organization level at the top, which means that if you're working with multiple organizations on the same email address, you can switch between those organizations as well. Then within that organization, you will have different teams. So here the team name is operations, but we may have different teams as well. For example, marketing team, operations team, client success team, help desk team, etc. So you can have those team names and within those team names, you will have boards. So very simple and straightforward. Let's go and try and create a board. Welcome to the Miro board, which has limitless places for you to add elements and it has no ends to the board. And that's something that I love. And here you can see how much zoomed in or zoomed out it is. So I'm going to just reset it to 100% for now. And on the left, you will see that we have different options and different functions on the top we have the name of the board so we can give it a name let's say um app workflow for now and maybe we can put some app workflow here and here you can edit you can have options to view different elements here and lots of other preferences on the top right you will see the option to share and option to present etc I will get into this a little later when we cover the collaboration options uh, that Miro has. But for now, you can see by default, it's the pointer that I have here. And then I have templates. Again, I will skip templates. I'll tell you why. But here, the simple one, the really simple one is the sticky note. So you just grab a sticky note and you can paste it anywhere. And then there are some more options like text. For now, let's go in and discuss some of the use cases, what you can use Miro board for. So one is very simple that you can use it for brainstorming and ideation. So when you have a lot of ideas in your head and this there's one team member saying something, the other team member saying something else, you're able to have one board where you can put all of your ideas and then try to map it together, etc. So there are lots of ways how you can brainstorm. And then uh, you can also use it for sprint planning. For example, you have like 50 features on your mind and then you want to see, okay, which ones do I keep in which sprint? And you are discussing it with your team members as well. So the collaboration feature is pretty helpful when it comes to Miro and you can have that, you can do that here. Then it is also useful in uh, wireframing. So wireframing means you want to just put like a rough sketch of the app interface. Uh, where will be the booking option? Where will be the calendar option? All of that, you can put that too. And then I love to use it for workshops and trainings also. So for example, you are leading a workshop and it is about mental health, for example, and you want to give some certain tasks to everyone and you want others to collaborate or maybe have their own boards also, then it can have a template and you can give them and give activities for them that they have to do alongside during the workshop. So that way also it's pretty, pretty useful. And one of the most used use cases of Miro is that of flowcharts and process mapping. So flowcharts, for example, when I'm thinking, okay, how will the sequence of things look like? Let's say I'm, I'm soon hosting a webinar on project management too. So I want to think, okay, first I need to think of the topic. Then I need to think, okay, who is going to be the target audience? Then I have to, you know, uh, prepare my presentation. I also have to send out the invites. I also have to make sure that I ask for feedback. So it's all going to be all over the place if I try to think like that. But if I have Miro, I'm I'm able to say okay this is going to happen first and this next 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 and even the things that are going to happen in parallel i can put it out as a flowchart so those are some of the use cases and maybe we can we, we can cover one or two as an activity i'll put some activities for you in the description below so today let's maybe go and uh, just continue with the app workflow the name that i gave it and now the first thing that you should do is you have to create a frame and i usually go with a custom one why we use frames is that we uh, need to make sure that things are still organized even if you have a board and it has no ends so at least within one frame you have a certain theme of activity that you're doing so let's say here i want to do the wireframing or um, i can have another frame goal planning and then i can have another frame which will be let's say launch strategy so we can have multiple frames within a single board and you can change the size of these frames as well. And if you want someone to look at only one certain frame at a point, so what you can do is, let's say wireframing, you only want to uh, let them see wireframing for now. So here you go and you can get copy link. You can see this option called copy link and then you can give them this certain link 
and for them only the wireframe will show up and not the rest of them they can still browse through the board but um, that is that one place especially when it gets cluttered it's it gets very difficult to tell them what what you want them to see so you can use this option and let's say within uh, wireframing i'm going to show you some options for example this is a frame now and uh, let's say i want to add some shapes to put together a wireframe and i'm going to pick a rectangle here and draw maybe something like a phone and I'm bad at this but I'm going to show you something so here let's say I have this certain icon that I want to introduce which is book now and maybe it will have a back option maybe it will have a title on the top and this is the back option and maybe it will have a title on the top it says calendar and then this is just like a random app wireframe that I'm trying to create so this is how you can use you can add different shapes you can add different you can even uh, add hand-drawn things now so let's say I want you to see this certain thing use pencil and whatnot and you have so many options for that too another great one is let's say I don't want to disturb this certain design but I want to put a note here for example I want to put some emphasis on um, this page will help in the booking process so there's a note here which is not a part of the wireframe itself but I want people to see it when they are browsing through this certain frame they can see this sticky note you can zoom in you can zoom out and it's endless you can you can keep zooming in and add more uh, objects here as well and let's say if I want to go through the next frame which is uh, maybe goal planning so here also I can have different uh, different shapes so if I'm drawing a rectangle here I want to say maybe reach 1 million downloads and under this when you click on it you will see when you hover over this certain dot you are able to create further boxes and workflows also so here maybe one option is google ads and then we can add another option and even organize it nicely by dragging the elements very very simple to use i'm going to perhaps check this thing also very very simple to use and you can even organize and make it more neat and tidy also give it color code so right now it's transparent but I can give it a color code for example I want to keep this yellow and the sub parts I want to keep green and they are at the same hierarchy level so I want to keep them green I can add Facebook marketing so yeah I think you get the gist here so these are some of the use cases that uh, that you can utilize Miro for there are other options here on the left I love to use the comment section when I'm collaborating with other team members. So if I want them to see, okay, you know, what's happening here, I want them to see, okay, do you have any feedback on Google Ads? Do you think we should set some goals here? So you can tag your teammates here and just use at and tag your friends or your colleagues here and then they can get notified they will receive an email one way of sharing is of course just sharing the board itself and I also showed you how you can share only this certain frame if you want to share that another way to do it if you want to just export and show it as an image instead of taking screenshots because because that can also get clumsy and weird so you can simply go here and export only the image so let's say here I'm going to right click this and I'm going to just say export as image, export as PDF or uh, you know organize it as well so many other options here but uh, yeah these are some options uh, that I like to do for example Miro my team uses Miro but when my clients if I have to send them something I don't share the Miro board with them because I don't want them to learn a new tool again I just want them to see the image so I just usually export it and then send it to them on email so you can do that too I think Miro is pretty pretty simple and straightforward there's so much you can do here and you can look like a pro if you use all of these different templates um, for example let's say your manager has asked you to set up a meeting and teach your team about something okay and then you go into templates and just prepare it so it'll take you like two seconds to do it but you are more prepared and you look more professional when you present and are organizing something in this way so I highly recommend using it for different use cases and and uh, there are so many others also here let's let's go through some templates so you can see that there's a stakeholder map if we want to organize the team members instead of just the typical chart you can do the disk style here there's so many templates here <laughs> and I like to do this monthly planner also definitely I use it a lot for workflows but you can create timelines you can create a calendar you can do prioritization and whatnot so go ahead explore it spend some time on this but you'll learn it pretty soon just that the use cases are so so wide that you'll i think you'll get tired and Miro will still 
keep coming up with more and more templates some of the best practices that i want to cover are use sticky notes not for workflow but only when you want to add a note or you want to contribute to the meaning or the context of the thing that you've created so make sure to use sticky notes for that next always use frames so within the frame things will stay clutter free and you can reorganize that and export it and share it so it makes things re very easy for you also uh, as someone who is owning the board then the third one is that you should color code things so here when uh, you might have seen that i uh, when i was creating this example uh, you can use color codes for a certain meaning so let's say if something is related to operations you are keeping it green or if something is before a certain stage you are keeping it in a certain color you can do all of that and make sure that you know you are using those things mindfully and finally uh, make sure to use comments and tag people yeah i think that's all uh, you are all set uh, if you still have any questions or interesting workflows that you used a uh, miro for you can share those and since i do webinars and also lots of other resources curation for aspiring and even practicing project managers make sure that you subscribe and watch out the other videos as well which i've put together in a playlist thank you so much and see you in another one